The year is 2029. The airspace over the Himalayas is the most contested real estate on Earth. In the past, control here meant courage. It meant pilots pushing aging airframes to their absolute limits against superior numbers. But today, courage isn't enough. Today, survival relies on one thing, silence. 60,000 feet up, zero radar emissions, total radio silence. They're invisible to the naked eye from the ground and invisible to radar screens hundreds of miles away. The enemy knows something is out there. They just can't see the ghosts until the missiles are already in the air. Welcome to the new reality of the Pakistan Air Force, the age of the silent swarm. What's up everyone, welcome back to the channel. For years, we've talked about the modernization of the Pakistan Air Force. We've talked about the J-10C, the Block 3 Thunder, but those are 4.5 generation solutions. The world is moving faster. We know that the US is pioneering the NGAD, Next Generation Air Dominance Program. The core idea, a manned 6th gen fighter that acts as a quarterback, controlling a team of loyal wingman drones. It's the future of warfare, manned, unmanned teaming, or MUMT. But the US isn't the only player in this game. The geopolitical chessboard has shifted. Pakistan is on the verge of acquiring two specific platforms that when combined will allow the PAF to leapfrog an entire generation of air combat doctrine. From the east, China's fifth generation J-35 stealth fighter. From the west, Turkey's cutting edge Kizilelma unmanned fighter jet. Today, we aren't just talking specs, we are going to simulate the future. We are going to create the ultimate combat scenario where these two machines merge into a unified fighting force. How does a J-35 pilot command a swarm of Kizilelmas? And what happens when an adversary's dense air defense network faces an enemy it can't see? Let's analyze the pieces, and then let's fly the mission. First, the centerpiece, the J-35. For the PAF, this isn't just another fighter to dogfight with SU-30s. If you use a J-35 like an F-16, you're wasting it. The J-35 is a medium-weight, fifth-generation stealth platform. Its primary defense is its invisibility on radar, but its real power lies in what's under the skin. It possesses highly advanced sensor fusion. It takes data from its AESA radar, its electro-optical targeting systems, and its electronic warfare suite, and blends it into a single, easy-to-understand picture for the pilot. In a manned, unmanned team, the J-35 pilot is no longer just flying. They are a mission commander. They are the quarterback in the pocket, surveying the field, protected by their offensive line, waiting to throw the touchdown pass. But who are they throwing to? Enter the Bayraktar Kizilelma. This is not a slow-moving TB2 drone. This is MUSE, an unmanned combat aircraft system. It's jet-powered, near supersonic, and designed with significant stealth characteristics. The Kizilelma brings three things to the team that a human pilot cannot offer. Number one, fearlessness. It can take risks a human pilot shouldn't. You can send a Kizilelma into the teeth of an S-400 battery to force the enemy to turn on their radar, revealing their position. Number two, payload flexibility. It can carry air-to-air -air missiles, deep strike cruise missiles, or specialized electronic warfare jamming pods. And number three, numbers. For the price of one fifth gen manned fighter, you can field multiple Kizilelmas. So how do they work together? This is the secret sauce. It's called the combat cloud. In our ultimate scenario, the J-35 and Kizilelma are linked by high bandwidth, jam-resistant data links. The J-35 pilot doesn't fly the drones with a joystick. The pilot gives intent-based commands via a touchscreen or voice. Commands like sector search, jam target bravo, or engage hostile. The AI aboard the Kizilelmas figures out the best way to execute that order. They fly in mutual support, watching each other's backs, constantly feeding data back to the human in the J-35. The human provides the strategy, the machines provide the tactics and the mass. Enough theory, let's see this in action. The scenario, Operation Silent Thunder. The objective is a hardened enemy command and control center located deep inside hostile territory, protected by a dense, overlapping integrated air defense system, including advanced long-range SAMs and 4.5-gen interceptors on constant patrol. 
The package consists of one PAF J35, call sign Shadow 1, acting as the flight lead, and three Kizalelma UCAVs, call sign Blade Flight, equipped with a mix of electronic attack pods, decoys, and long range air to air missiles. The mission begins at 0300 hours. Blade Flight, Shadow 1, Fence In, MCON Alpha, Going Dark. They are 200 kilometers out. The enemy air defense is active. Powerful search radars are sweeping the sky, looking for anything with a radar cross-section. The J-35 and Kizalelmas are designed to deflect these waves, appearing as nothing more than birds or background noise. Blade Flight, Push Point Alpha, Execute Pattern Delta, Trowel for Emitters. The human pilot sends the drones ahead. The three Kizalelmas accelerate, separating from the J-35, pushing deeper into the danger zone. The J-35 hangs back, the silent observer. Suddenly, the enemy gets a sniff, perhaps a fleeting return from a Kizalelma doing a maneuver. The enemy SAM site decides to commit. Spiked, 2 o'clock, SA-21 acquisition radar active. The trap is sprung. The enemy radar has turned on full power to lock on to the drones. In doing so, they have broadcast their exact location to the entire PAF swarm. The J-35's advanced EOTS pinpoints the SAM radar vehicle from 150 kilometers away without ever emitting a signal itself. Blade 2, engage SAM radar. Blade 1 and 3 provide cover against air threats. The enemy SAM site is overwhelmed, its screens are filled with static and false targets. While it tries to filter the noise, the anti-radiation missile slams into the radar array. Splash 1 SAM radar. The corridor is open. But the fight isn't over. Enemy interceptors, Su-30s or Rafals are vectoring in, alerted by the commotion. The enemy fighters see the drones on their radar. They don't see the J-35 lurking 80 kilometers behind them. The J-35 pilot designates the targets on his screen. He could fire his own long-range PL-15 missiles, but that requires opening his weapons bays, momentarily compromising his stealth. Why take the risk? Blade 1, Blade 3, sort targets, engage with PL-12s on my command. The J-35 provides the firing solution to the drones. The Kizalelmas, acting as unmanned missile trucks, open their bays. Fox 3. The enemy pilots receive missile warnings. They go evasive, popping flares and chaff, terrified. They are being engaged by an enemy they cannot see, directed by a commander who isn't even in the fight yet. Air picture clear, approaching primary objective. With the air defenses blinded and the interceptors pushed back, the J-35 finally moves in for the kill shot. The pilot confirms the coordinates of the hardened command center. Package away. Time to impact. 30 seconds. Blade flight, reform, and exit. That, ladies and gentlemen, is the potential of the Silent Swarm. Operation Silent Thunder was fictional, but the capabilities are very real. When the Pakistan Air Force combines Chinese fifth-generation stealth with Turkish unmanned autonomy, it changes the strategic balance in South Asia. It moves the PAF away from a defensive posture, relying on ground-controlled interception, towards an offensive, expeditionary posture. It allows them to kick down the door of much larger, more technologically advanced adversaries. The adversary can no longer just count the number of manned jets Pakistan has. They have to worry about the force multipliers, the ghosts in the machine. This acquisition isn't just about buying new planes. It's about adopting a new philosophy of warfare, one where the human is the tactician and AI is the weapon. What do you think? Is this the ultimate checkmate move for regional air dominance? Or are the technical hurdles of integrating Chinese and Turkish tech too high? Let me know down in the comments. If you enjoyed this deep dive into the future of air combat, smash that like button, subscribe, and hit the bell so you don't miss the next briefing. Until next time, stay frosty.